Hello everyone, welcome back to The Pastry Warden. My name is Chef Andre Ward. This video recipe was requested by another YouTube creator, Ray, from Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. On his channel, he focuses on how to make awesome soul food and gives great grilling tutorials to those who want to learn how to barbecue. He wanted me to make a recipe video on how to make a killer bun or roll that he can use to sandwich up those delicious meats he makes on his channel. So Ray, here you go bro, you're gonna love this one. Let's dive into the recipe. So here are our ingredients, and I'm using grams. If you wanna know what scale I use, I will leave a link in the description box below. Well, here we have 500 grams of bread flour. I use King Arthur. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but they have awesome flour for making breads. I have 10 grams of fine sea salt. I have 25 grams of sugar. I have eight grams of instant yeast. Make sure you have the instant yeast, okay? Instant yeast. I have 250 grams of cold milk. I have 75 grams of eggs. 75 grams of softened butter. This is from Trader Joe's. This is an everything bagel sesame blend that I'm gonna use. If you don't have a Trader Joe's in your area, you can make your own blend. And I have some chopped up bacon. The first thing we wanna do is render our bacon. And again, I'm not using bacon in all of my dough. I'm gonna separate a, a little bit of the dough and do a few with bacon, just for flavor. And for those who love bacon, including myself, we're gonna render this down, just put it on low heat and let the bacon render slowly. Next, in our bowl with a dough hook attachment, we're gonna add our wet, which is the milk. We're gonna add our eggs. And I'm gonna give this a whisk. Just to break up the eggs. I'm also going to add my softened butter. So got my wet in and then I'm gonna add my dry on top. Flour. Now watch how I place this down. I'm gonna put my salt in one corner. I'm gonna put my sugar right next to it. Salt, sugar. And then I'm gonna add my yeast. I wanna keep my yeast away from the salt. You do not want the yeast to come into contact with the salt because the salt can kill out the yeast. So we got that in. Now we're gonna go on the mixer. So what we're gonna do is go on the low speed for the first five minutes just to get everything combined. It's starting to come together a little bit. Still on my first five minutes. So I can see it, this dough came together. It's really soft. I'm gonna taste it right now. That tastes really good. Next, I'm going to go on my final speed and I'm going to mix for another five minutes. All right, so what we're going to do now is check it for strength. We're going to do what's called a window pane test. And we're going to stretch it. And what we're looking for is a, a nice membrane that is translucent, but still holding together and that you can see through. I'm going to get the full total weight of this, which is at 920, and I'm going to divide it by two, which will be 460 grams per piece. 460, 460, all right, cool. I'm going to wrap one up, and the other one's going to get the bacon. You want to mix this just so the bacon is incorporated. Don't mix it too much because you don't want to overwork your dough. And to me, that's in there. Look at that. Bacon love. Look at that. Same thing for the bacon one. Now you want to take a piece of plastic wrap and wrap these up. We're going to let these proof until they double in size. My kitchen is pretty warm right now, so I'm able to leave these on the counter. If your kitchen's not warm, you can simply just turn your oven on, open your oven door, and place 
these on top of the stove and let the heat from the oven just circulate in that area. So right now I'm gonna take the dough and uh, degas it or fold it. What they call punch it down. But you're really not punching it, you're just taking the gas out of it. And so I got a little bit of bread flour here in the bowl and I'm going to just dust my surface. Okay. And I'm gonna take this seam side up, press it down. I'm just gonna fold it, fold it. Bring it back together. And I'm going to place this under plastic wrap again. Do the same thing for the other bread. These are ready for portioning, okay? Make sure my, my surface is dusted so these won't stick to the board. I'm gonna cover these up with plastic. That way it won't develop a skin on the top of it. Now that the dough is rested, I'm gonna weigh these out uh, about 100 grams a piece. If you want a bigger bun, hey, go ahead and weigh out more. Place on the scale. If you have to add more dough, make sure you put it on the open flesh side of the dough that you're already measured out. Close there. So here I whipped up an egg wash, eggs and milk, or you can use water. I also have a plate with the everything bagel condiment that I got from Trader Joe's. As soon as I egg wash my dough, it's gonna go right into the everything bagel mixture. We're going to go ahead and brush the tops real nice. And what this egg wash is gonna do is give the bread some shine. Also, it's gonna help you adhere the everything bagel mixture on top. If you don't wanna add any seeds on top of yours, hey, don't do it. But these are getting seeds. Now what we're gonna do is take our first one, press it down in there really good, and come up just like that. So I couldn't find a lom, so I'm just gonna try my best to score these with a sharp knife. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I also got a pot of water in the back of the oven just to create some steam in the oven. We're gonna bake these with the steam uh, for about the first five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna remove the pot and let it dry bake. There you go, right there, Rayback. I'm not sure what you're gonna do with these, but I'm about to show you what I'm about to do with them.
Now, Ray Mac, I don't know what you're gonna do with these buns, but they deserve your best. You, you asked for a killer bun, and I delivered for you, bro. Hook these up. Let me know what you do. Hook these buns up. I even got a little bit of red wine to go along with it. So, make something bomb. Celebrate with the, with the family, celebrate with the wife, with the, with the red wine to go along with the, whatever you make, it doesn't matter. I can't wait to see what you do. You always deliver, so I'm not even worried. I'm not worried at all. This is the Pastry Warden, signing out.